Marxist criticism. Karl Marx, who was born in 1818 and who died in 1883, a German philosopher, and Friedrich Engels, who was born in 1820 and who died in 1895, a German sociologist, were the joint founders of Marxism. They themselves called their economic theories communism. They designated their belief in the state ownership of industry, transport, etc. rather than private ownership. They announced the advent of communism in their jointly written Communist Manifesto of 1848. As Marxism is a materialist philosophy, it looks for concrete, scientific, logical explanations of the world of observable fact. It doesn't believe in the existence of a spiritual world elsewhere. The aim of Marxism is to bring about a classless society based on the common ownership of the means of production, distribution and exchange. Though they did not put forward any comprehensive theory of literature, Marxism stresses that a writer's social class and its prevailing ideology have a major bearing on what is written by a member of that class. In 1905, Lenin argued that literature must become an instrument of the party. So, experimentation was banned then. So, there were two streams. Engelsian stream that stressed the necessary freedom of art and the Leninist stream that insisted an art that committed to the political cause of the left. In 1920s and 1930s, Engelsian, which was also called Russian formalism, flourished the most prominent members of the group were Viktor Shklovsky and Boris Eichenbaum. The familiar world appear new to the common man through Shklovsky's idea of defamiliarization. The French Marxist thinker Louis Althusser who was born in 1918 and who died in the year 1990, developed the Marxist approach through the introduction of various concepts like overdetermination and ideology. Overdetermination that borrowed from Freud refers to an effect that arises from various causes rather than from a single factor. This concept undercuts simplistic notions of a one-to-one -one correspondence between base and superstructure. Ideology is another term of him. Ideology is a system of representations which are actually images myths, ideas and concepts endowed with an existence and has a historical role at the heart of a given society. It obscures social reality by naturalizing beliefs and by promoting values that support it. The civil society spreads ideology through law, textbooks, religious rituals, 
and norms so that the people imbibe them without their knowledge decentering is the key term in altusa to indicate structures which have no essence or focus or center art has a relative autonomy and is determined by the economic level only in the last instance altusa then talks about interpolation a trick where all are made to feel that they are choosing where really they have no choice interpolation makes us feel like a free agent when things imposed upon us altusa also makes a distinction between the state power and state control state power is mentioned as repressive structures controlling limiting freedom that include the law courts prisons the police force and the army they are the external forces but the power of the state is also maintained by their internal consent altusa calls them as ideological structures or state ideological apparatuses they are such groupings as political parties schools the media the churches the family and the art that foster an ideology a set of ideas and attitudes then they feel that they are freely choosing what is in fact being imposed upon them this is where the writers and critics of leninist stream focused their attention and tried to utilize literature as an instrument of uh, the party apart from altusa terry eagleton the best known british marxist critic has also had his contributions to marxist criticism the founder of italian communist party antonio gramsci who was born in 1861 and who died in the year 1934 was a politician philosopher linguist he introduced the concepts like hegemony and subaltern hegemony is the domination of particular section of the society by the powerful classes most often it works through consent rather than by power it is the moral and intellectual leadership of the upper class in a particular society the term subaltern is a collective description for a variety of different and exploited groups who lack class consciousness but now it is being used to represent all marginalized sections like dalit women and minorities marxist criticism emphasizes on class socio economic status power relations among various segments of society and the representation of these segments marxist criticism is valuable because it enables 
readers to see the role that a class plays in the plot of a text so marx's criticism has basically its conflict with post structuralism and post modernism moreover it is against psychoanalysis that isolates individuals from the social structure in which they exist the marxist critics make a division between the overt surface and the covert hidden content of the literary work and then relate the covert subject matter of the literary work to basic marxist themes such as class struggle the progression of a society through various historical stages such as the transition from feudalism to industrial capitalism